What's up Rangers, welcome back, this is Rick. Okay, I gotta just start off by saying, you see this little jar right here? When I walked around this abandoned house, I'm seeing a lot of these little jars just laying around, and I thought this was a bottle of perfume or a bottle of cologne, but this turns out to be a blood DNA sample you could preserve your family's history in. I wanna do a little bit more research with you on that in this episode. So if you're into this type of weird stuff, collecting people's DNA and cat's DNA, I actually think this is cat DNA. I don't know for sure, but we're gonna try to figure out with this episode. And that's why I wanna show you this place from top to bottom, figure out the history, and let's get at it and explore. Here we go. Little did I realize the chilling events that took place in this home before creating this video. Usually, when exploring abandoned locations, I prefer to remain uninformed, allowing the experience to unfold naturally without the burden of preconceived notions. However, in hindsight, perhaps I should have delved into its dark history first. In the initial segment, I mentioned that the canisters discovered were intended for cat DNA, but my information was gravely mistaken. As it turns out, they were utilized for human beings, a very odd discovery, and I'll mention why later on in the episode. The story revolves around a married couple, Elizabeth and Charles, who met in high school and blossomed into high school sweethearts. They tied the knot and welcomed their two daughters, Ava and Emily, into the world. In 2016, the couple purchased this lakeside home, and all seemed well until it wasn't. Charles, the husband, became seriously abusive toward his wife, Elizabeth. As depicted in this disturbing photo, showcasing the extent of her bruising after the attack, the abuse extended to their daughter, Ava, prompting me to dig deeper into their troubled history. My investigations led me to a disturbing post on Ava's Facebook page where she subtly hinted at the traumatic experiences she shared with her father. Ava shared a quote exposing the horrors of her time with her father. Elizabeth, Charles's wife, said, I regret not involving the authorities the first time Charles assaulted me. I should have pressed charges when he threw a fan at us and threatened our lives with aggressive screams. The situation escalated when Charles menacingly declared to both Elizabeth and Ava, I will remove my ankle monitor and physically harm you both. Fortunately, Elizabeth, Ava, and Emily escaped before he could inflict any further harm. At that moment, Charles became a fugitive, evading the law. Eventually, the authorities apprehended him charging him with domestic violence by assault, excessive speeding, and unlawful restraint. There's way more to the story than this, but to protect the privacy of the family, I will not be sharing any links to the story of what happened inside this home. Now that you know the backstory, let's go inside and search for clues. Maybe you, the viewer, can spot anything else out of place. Now let's explore. All right, Rangers, welcome back. All right, so if you know me, you know the routine and you know the drill. I wanna make it feel like as if you were the owner of this house, how would it feel if you were the owner of this house? Coming in through this door, keep in mind, it is very, very extremely tight in here. Look at this. You got a left, you got a center, or we can go upstairs. Tell you what, let's go straight ahead first and let's see what we can find. 
meet you guys on the other side. All right, so unfortunately, this house, I love this house, but it's definitely seeing better days. It's still in pretty good shape. It's not a tear me down whatsoever, but you'll start to see some decay as we go along. Look at this. Look how beautiful this living room is. It's gorgeous. I wish the power was on, but it is not, but it's getting a decent amount of light in here. Um, but I tell you what, before we start exploring the living room, I want to explore this part first. Let's go inside the bedroom and let's see what we got in here. Hopefully it's something juicy. Now here's a big, big bedroom. I'm kind of figuring things out and putting two to two together because you got this side of the bed and then that side of the bed. And if I was to lift this, you will see two separate mattresses. See what I'm saying? And the husband was waking the wife up or the wife was waking the husband up. That's why you see two separate beds and probably she wanted to raise up while he wanted to raise down. They probably have like an adjustable bed, but uh, yeah, this is it. This is a really cool looking bed too. It's like very modern. I can appreciate modern looking stuff. Nothing wrong with that. There's a whole bunch of clothes. Look how beautiful this room is though. I mean, you could do a lot with this house. Look at the ceiling. Okay, I kind of even like the ceiling. Oh, but this is, look, this is where it starts to fall apart. Now, I do think this is beautiful in its own right, but this kind of stuff does not belong in somebody's house. All these trees and vines growing through. It's a TV set. Let's see if we could turn on the power. I don't think anything's gonna turn on though. No, they cut the power off. This is the master bathroom. Decently spacious. What are these things? I thought this was to shower with, but apparently it looks like light bulb fixtures or something. <laughs> what is, oh, look at the tub. It had like a little jet tub in here, which is pretty cool. Oh, I love that. Look at that painting. You can actually feel the rocks on it because the rocks kind of have like a little 3D effect. Look at this. Yeah, you can feel the rocks, all the little sand pebbles. Look at that little boat out there. Just waiting for somebody to get inside and sail to sea. Little shower. I like beach houses and lake houses because of these little signs. At the lake, we do beer 30. We, at the lake, we do beer 30 and wine o'clock. <laughs> nice. You could tell they were some nice comedians in the family. Oh, here's where it starts to fall apart. The remainder of the ladies' clothes and men's clothes, women's garments, everything. All left in here. Wow. We even have some clothes behind here. What brand is this? I don't think it's anything expensive. I can't tell. Uh, where's the tags on these things? What is about, what about this one? Claiborne, eh, it's not too expensive. These people did buy on a lake property, but it seems more like a beach house more than a lake house. But yeah, this is really nice stuff in here. I love the layout. I love the shiplap wood, how they got that. Surprised they didn't add wallpaper to it, but still really cool in its own right. Let me stand over here in this direction, get you another shot of the living room. This is what it looks like. Look at that fan right there. Nasty, nasty fan. Yuck, full with spider webs, nasty. I love this house though. It is amazing. Oh, look at this. I found a five watt iPhone charger with the cable attached to it. That tells me they probably had an iPhone. I wonder which one. Maybe we can find out which iPhone they had and that would tell us about when they abandoned the house because I do not know. Look at this amazing looking room right here, y'all. Wow. This is beautiful. I love this room. I'm a sucker for bay windows. Y'all know that. I say it all the time in my videos, but good gracious, this is great. 
Let me pop that exposure up just a little bit so you can see what's going on inside this room. This is fantastic, y'all. This is absolutely beautiful. What do we have going on over here? Ooh, I see something juicy. That's the people that probably own this this house. Look, that's that's got to be them. It doesn't say what year the photo is. Let me see. Does it have anything on the back? No, nothing. What is this? Nothing. Here's like a little angel. What does this say on there? I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. Okay. This is gorgeous. I love this house. I even like the drapes on it. I usually don't like drapes, but if they're done well, like this, this is fantastic. They even have like a little futon here too with a VCR on it. Look at the detail on the floor. That is amazing, but they really need to clean this house up because it's filled with kitty litter, roaches, and whatnot. You can tell this house was full of cats. See, you got cat bowls right there, kitty litter right there. I mean, it's all over the place. Here's like a little futon. Well, not like a little sofa. This actually looked like a um, part of a sectional that they just deattached. Let me see. This has to be a part of a sectional. It is, they're just kind of rigged up. Yeah, that's part of a sectional. Ew. Yuck. Full of cat hair. Nasty. Yeah. Oh, look. Here we go. Friskies. And defogger for roaches. It's a cool looking fireplace. Oh, cool. Look at the designs on there. That's actually real carvings. That's cool. I like that. All right, y'all, let's keep it moving. Okay, now this, as far as in downstairs, this is probably one of my favorite rooms downstairs. Look how much sunlight is coming through. Look at this. I love this. Bang. Unfortunately, this is on a main road, so you'll see. And here, a bunch of cars passing by. Look what I just found. It says Dink. That must have been the name of their cat. This is an urn. I'm not going to open it up, but it's full of ashes. I'm pretty sure this is an urn for their cats or one of their cats. Even had these things called DNA capsules. I don't know what a DNA capsule is, but maybe we can kind of research it up in real time and see what's going on with a DNA capsule. Let me Google that real quick. All right, we're going to look this up in real time on Google. So let's look it up. What is a DNA capsule? Um, DNA contains valuable information about our ancestral past and family roots. When a person passes away, this information is often lost forever. Bank DNA will last indefinitely inside the Securigene DNA capsule, allowing families to pass their genetic makeup down to future generations. And that's just it. The couple started their own business that uses a matrix that stabilizes DNA at room temperature, thus eliminating the use of freezing and liquid nitrogen. The capsule was created to be an attractive keepsake while preserving a person's DNA safely and securely. They believe that the DNA preservation is something anyone with any history of genetic diseases or cancer will want to consider. It is the modern photograph, a time capsule that contains vital information about a person's ancestry that could benefit future generations. Okay, well, there you go. These are little DNA capsules. Uh, why do I get the feeling this is not for humans? This is for cats. This one, this one, and that one has a bit of their own DNA in it. I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, here's what it is. Oh yeah, 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 it says it right here. I don't know if y'all can make that out. But it says preserving DNA is important. You know, wait, you now have a modern pho photograph of yourself, a time capsule that contains vital information about your ancestry that could benefit future generations. Wow, that's pretty deep. I never even knew that existed, but uh, now we do. All right, let's keep it moving. Wow, that's an interesting find. Guys, tell me in the comments what kind of car that is. I'm guessing it's like a 1970 something. I don't know, but it does look like it's from the 1970s. Leave it in the comments, because I do not know. All right, let's keep it moving. 
This is what we see on this side. Let me turn that exposure up a little bit here. See what's going on. Oh yeah, here we go. Wow. That fan is actually in still in great shape. Look at that. Excellent shape. Got a lot of light in here. I love that. Beautiful light. Look at that mirror. I don't usually go crazy over mirrors. I'm not a mirror person, but that one, phew, gorgeous. And look, they got another one on that side. How cool is that? This house is beautiful. I wish they could uh, revive it. Look, and y'all see that? We're gonna go check that out soon. Look at that Mercedes outside. Actually, that's a Jaguar, my mistake. Jaguar, yeah, I love that fan. Look at that thing. Beautiful fan, but with cobwebs all over it. Get another shot so you can see what's going on. I love the woodwork on top of the ceiling. That is amazing. And look, the family collected these little horse figurines. There they are right there and wine bottles too. So it seems to me like they love to drink. They loved little figurines. And what is in here? Oh, that's part of the kitchen. We're gonna go in there in a little bit. Yeah, let's actually do that right now. Oh, what is this? This looks like a little urn called Julius. What is this? Yeah, I knew it. Veterinarian Cremation Services. So their cat's name was Julius. One of their cats, they probably had like 20 of them and they collected their DNA samples in them. Wow, amazing. All right, uh, let's go into the kitchen. Here we go. Now, before we head into the kitchen, I do want to show you guys the outside. Look how beautiful the land is outside of this house. I love that. Look at the moss growing on all the trees. And those are pine trees too. I thought it, I thought moss only grew on, I thought it only grew on like oak trees, but apparently it's growing on pine trees too. That's cool. Never knew that, but hey, we learn something new each and every day. And there's the backyard. Well, the side yard anyway, beautiful looking deck patio area. And what do we have in here? Okay, now this is the kit. Yeah, this is definitely the kitchen. And guess what? I'm already seeing more evidence. Yeah, more DNA samples. There you go. Oh, here we go. We're figuring it out, guys. We're figuring it out. So, iPhone SE. When did the iPhone SE come out? Does it say a year on here? It's a 32 gigabyte phone, so that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty old. Let's look it up. When did the iPhone SE debut? March 21st, 2016. According to Wikipedia, it was introduced on March 21st, 2016, with pre-orders beginning on March 24th, 2016, and was officially released on March 31st, 2016, alongside the 9.7-inch iPad Pro. All right, well, there you go. We just figured it out. So around, I want to say 2016, maybe 2017, it went abandoned. And look, there's a bottle of Polo Cologne. And what is the date on this? Item right here. It says, okay, best if used by December 9th, 2024. Well, this is 2024 right now, so it expires this year. But those, the canned food, they'll probably last around four to five years max. And we have more stuff in here, it looks like. What is this? I'm going to have to blank this out. It says DNA capsule, and it's the information for DNA capsules. Yeah, I'm gonna have to blank out all of that. Okay, well, I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Wow, this is cool. Just checking to see if there's anything else in here worth documenting. I do see a whole bunch of iPhone and phone cables down there. Is there an old medicine cabinet? What is this? Ugh. O-N-D-A-N-S-E-T-R-O-N. -E Is that a steroid? Four milligrams. I have to blank this out too. All right, well, we'll keep that up. They got this actually from Target. 
in Ohio. What the hell? All right. Well, we're definitely not in Ohio. Now, I just found this too, this little medicine bottle, and it has the word on it, ferrous sulfate. So we're going to look that up and see what that's for, because I have no idea. What is ferrous sulfate used for? According to NHS, ferrous sulfate, or sulfate, is a type of iron that's used as a medicine to treat and prevent iron deficiency anemia. All right, so I think we're doing pretty good for ourselves here. We're getting more clues about the house and who owned it. So definitely it sounds like more older people because older people do have anemia. Younger people have it too, but mostly the older crowd. Look at this. I love these cabinets here. No, nah, not much in them. Old food. Whoa, really old food. Yuck. They have these little designs and shapes on them. Oh, look at this, y'all. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. You see that? It says classic football. I used to own one of these, these little gaming machines. Let's see if we can turn it on. No. Oh, of course, no batteries. <laughs> yeah, but that's cool. I love these. I think this is actually a really lovely kitchen. It's small, it gets the job done, but they had to go and ruin it by putting the other part of the house right there, right by the window. Look at this. That's the other part of the house. Come on, y'all. I love my windows, I wanna look out, but you ruined it. <laughs> oh, what is this? I love these little signs. Lake rules, soak up the sun, look at the stars, smell the fresh air, go fishing, build a campfire, rest, relax, reflect, take a hike, jump in the lake, tubing allowed. You got it, we'll do all of those things. <gasps> what the freak did I just find? Oh my God. Oh, I... <laughs> Guys, wait a minute. Oh, this is an iPhone 6S Plus in rose gold. Y'all remember that color when the iPhones came out with the rose gold? That was like the new thing. Everybody was getting them, even the guys. But look at this. I thought this was still in the wrapping paper because look at it. But when you open it, of course, there's nothing probably on the inside. I can't feel that there is. Hold on, I got to put my camera down for a minute. All right, I just opened it. The only thing that I see in here are some useless earbuds. They're in mint shape though. How about that? But that's cool that I actually found that. The iPhone 6S Plus, let's put that back where we found it. That's kind of cool, actually. What is that? That's a cool looking coffee mug. I guess that's what that is. Look at all this china in here. This has got to be worth some money, right? Let's see if we can look at the brand name on this. Let's put that guy right there for a minute. The Co Old Country Roses Royal Albert Bone China, England, 1962 Royal Albert. If y'all know anything about that in the comments section, fill us all in because I'm not too familiar with china. China. All right, here we go. Watch this. Got some lipstick in there, fingernail polish. That doesn't open or does it? I don't know. Oh, look. Family photos. I don't know who these people are, but they might have lived here or had something to do with the family. Ooh. This is what I like. This is what I love. I love looking at people's photos. When I'm going into abandoned houses, that's my favorite thing to do. Look at photos and look out the window. That is what's up. Here's a dog. That's a card. Some old birthday stuff. That's a really looking cool, that's a cool looking card. It says press here. No batteries. All right, Urbex code. Here's the refrigerator, let's do it. Let's just get it over with now. I don't wanna do it, but here we go. Oh, it smells so freaking bad. Look at all the maggots. Let's do this. Mm. 
Oh, that smells so freaking bad. Oh, my God. Whew. Oh, damn. No. God. All right, sorry about that, guys. That smelled awful. All right, so we're, we're steady moving on. I can't wait to get upstairs. Honestly, I can't wait to get out of this house now. <laughs> it smelled up the whole kitchen. So this is part of the back kitchen right here. This is actually the washroom, but it's part of the back kitchen. And nothing going on except this old kitty litter that needs to be changed out, but nobody will. That's cool. That old Carvette clock, that's really cool. The clock has stopped though, so there you go. All right, guys, so this is right back where we started from. This is the front door. we got to go up the steps, but look at this. More DNA time capsules. That is amazing. They really love their cats. For sure. All right, let's go up here. Let's see what we got. All right, we've got a couple options. Here we go. Let's hang a right. Yo. Oh, I love this bedroom. Oh, this will be my bedroom. If I own this house, this will be my bedroom. I love the colors. I lo well, the bed is like whatever, but I love the shades. I love the wall color. The hell? More roach spray. What is this? Ooh, that is, that is somebody's ashes called Ed. Yeah, those are little bitty baby ashes. That probably tells me it's a cat again. More cat stuff. Crazy cat lady. No offense. <laughs> but it is what it is. I understand. People love cats. People love dogs too. Life is better at the lake. And what do we have in here? Old ladies garments. Terminex. Hmm. So somebody we used to work for Terminex, we're getting clues. Shoes, all that leather print shoes, animal print shoes, I'm sorry. And what is all this back here? All right, let's keep digging. Now, as we cross this hall right here, we can see this room, but I wanna go in around in a circle because I really wanna show you guys this bathroom and all of its glory because one of the first things that you see is a medicine cabinet right here with the Barbie doll. How nifty is that? How nifty is that? Here's the shower area. It's a pretty recent shower head. Let's take a look down there, see if they're keeping the tub clean. And no, we are not keeping the tub clean. <laughs> see what's going on outside because I love my windows. Guys, look what I just found in this big closet. This closet's massive. I am super in love with this jacket. It looks like it's from the 1990s. It's called Simple, wait, Super Triple Goose. Well, that's not the name of it. That's just probably the name of the material they're using on the inside, but it's made by B-O-Y-N-E. Oh, wait, no, that's the name of the resort that they went to. I guess if they didn't want to lose their jacket, they tagged it. Yeah, that's not right. Who's this made by? All it says is made in China, goose down USA. All right, we'll keep it at that. If y'all know about it, leave it in the comments. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, what's in here? Uh, no, ooh. Nothing is in here, but it looks like we have some little indentation of cups. That could be a little small urns, I don't know, but I can only speculate. Let's put it back. It looks like we've got some DVDs up there. Ladies' garments, I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> what do we have here on this side? Ohio State. Oh, look at this. More DNA capsules right here. Look at that. Can y'all believe that? We're finding more clues. Oh my goodness. We have more right down here. What the hell? Oh, we can't touch that. Those are needles to prick yourself. Your DNA is you now and forever. Proudly made in the USA. Oh, that's, that's what it looks like when you open it up. 
It says, why DNA capsule? DNA degenerates with death and is impractical to exhume. Store DNA, not just ashes. Easy at home storage, save DNA. You get the gist. So, yeah. Looks like these people were obsessed with this. I actually thought that was a bottle of like perfume or cologne at first. But no, this is like something totally different here. It's a six pack of DNA. Wow, oh my God, look at all that. That's impressive. Wow, it's a whole bunch of DNA in there. Uh, but I have yet to find a blood sample, but I am not too worried about that right now. <laughs> I just don't wanna find that. What is this? Look like somebody in the family used to play ball, football. Hold on. What is it? It looks like a, uh, oh yeah, it's a college. Okay, we'll leave it at that. What about all this stuff in here? Ugh. Football pick, oh, that's a cool family photo. I like this. Mm. Wow, that is super old. Look at that. That's definitely from the 80s. Wait a minute. Is that the same jacket? Let's take a look. It is not the same jacket, but it looks almost identical except for the top. All right, we got some ballerina shoes up here and we got a ballerina dancing right there. What is behind here? This looks like an air conditioner duct. Football trophies, everything's right here, y'all. Big ass closet and go into this bedroom. I really love this. Now this reminds me of like something you would rent on a beach. Look at that. The pillows say you and me. How cute. Do we have anything behind this door? A little closet with nothing in it. We've already been through there. What about this? Nah, nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, I like that. That's cool. Is there anything in it? Oh no, you can't lift it. What about this? Mm, nothing. All right, got one last room, y'all. Let's check it out and see what we got. What the heck is this? Wow, okay. This is my favorite room upstairs. Let me turn that exposure up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Wow, yeah, this is definitely my favorite room upstairs, without a doubt. Let me turn that down a little bit. Wow, this is beautiful. I love the paint scheme with the white and the teal baby blue. Oh yeah, the snout, now we're talking. That's the outside. This is actually the front part of the house. But look at that paint color though, gracious. That is cool, I love this. Oh, it looks like they had a fireplace in here too, but they covered it up. And what is this? Can we get this to stand up? Is this somebody's picture? It's a picture of a park bench. Oh, is that by the lake? Oh, that's by the, the lake that they have over here, I think. Cool thing that I like about this house, about the upstairs, this long hallway right here. And look at this, this is the front door leading out to the front door balcony. I'm not gonna go out there, for obvious reasons, but it's what it is. I love this. And I just found this abandoned Jaguar too outside. Kind of cool. Let's go check it out, see if we can open the door. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. It is clean in there. Nice. This is beautiful. Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> 